check the mic and make sure it sound right. Hey guys, how's it going, Electron Man? Well, we're going to put together, put a diamond antenna X300. Probably one of the best antennas you can buy as far as a 2 meter, a 70 centimeter ground plane. At least in my opinion. Um, I've already got one of them and that baby is rock solid. Low SWR and a 25 mile repeater is no problem at all. And that's just barely up about 10, 12 feet. I'm going to put this other one up a lot higher and uh, it'll probably even do better. But I'll show you how to how to assemble it or pre-assemble it. I'll put all the stuff I need to other than the top mass is 10 foot long. So I'll build it five foot and then I'll just screw the last mast in. But uh, we can do that when we get out to the tire. But it makes it easier to manage. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay, guys, hopefully this will get you a good enough view. I'm trying to figure out how to get a good angle on this. And I think this is probably going to be the best. But here's how she comes packed. Um, it, it's, uh, to me, the best antenna you can buy as far as if you're looking for a good two meter ground plane. I mean, you can probably build one too. But for me, this is definitely a my favorite and i've tried many and different types of ground planes and this one just seems to perform really well right out of the box no tuning required at least i have never had to tune one but anyway let me go ahead and get her out of the box or out of the packet i should say there's your three ground radios just screw them in and tighten the nut uh let's see if we can go ahead and get this pack in cut here it's really easy antenna to put together too, by the way. But you have this first piece here, which this is the main tube here. Yeah. And we're connected to the second piece. And you have this locking ring. Bottom section here. This actually gonna, is going to go. Slides over. Notice the hole right there? You want to slide it over. And you're going to line those two holes up. And then you're going to put that locking bolt back in there. And then that locks locks it in. Locks it into the mounting tube. Um, since the coax goes through the middle of the tube. I typically uh, I won't do this slide on until I get out there because uh, obviously I need to screw my coax in. So this has a uh, the high frequency uh, connector. It doesn't have an SO239. See if I can find me an adapter from a I can't remember the name of that one, but that's the high frequency one. I need to convert it over to a, uh, a standard SO239 or PL259. So. Let me see what I can find out here. Okay, I ended up sourcing out an end connector. That's what an end connector is. I should look at the package. The package says X300NA. NA means end connector. If it's a 300A, it's a 259, which I really don't mind. An end connector is actually a better connector, uh, just a little harder. But I'm going to go ahead and I did some LM400 uh, uh, coax on an uh, end connector. So. I would have had super low loss on this. Fortunately, antenna. I had this uh, coax laying around, and the reason I hadn't used it is because it, I, when I bought it, I didn't realize it had an end connector on it. So, and I didn't want to have to re. Anyway, luckily, I had a hundred foot spool of uh, LM400 with an end connector already installed on it. So, actually, uh, worked out good for me. But anyway, back to you got the hole at the top. So, what we want to do with these mounts is these mounts just slide on like so on this tube here because remember the tenant is going to slide in here and bolt through here so they just slide these on here and they are adjustable well, started and I just kind of just space them out somewhat evenly I guess you could wait to tighten those up but I kind of put the bolt to the center so it's easy to get a hold of there then you just it down on there make sure they're even just put it on a flat surface like put it on a flat surface like this to make sure that your two are there now I just kind of space them out evenly and I'll go down a little further here and just tighten them up and there you go that's that's gonna be your mount to your pole and then you have typical bolts here two u-bolts which is universal with the bend so that when you mount it in there it'll fit just about any pipe and you just tighten it down. I'm ready to go sliding on my pole like that and it mounted my pole slide the antenna in 
Put the lock and bolt into there. Obviously, I need to run my coax up through here. Screwed on the antenna. Well, when I get out there, I'll show you that. I was just getting everything prepped. Next time you'll see me, I'll be out there at the antenna mast. I, I do it right now, but we kind of got a windy day, and you just, I don't have a mic to dampen the wind, so it'd just be uh, irritating to listen to. So I'll wait till this evening when it calms down a little bit on the wind, and we'll go ahead and get this antenna mounted to my uh, antenna mast. Okay, we're out here at the antenna. Hopefully the wind's down to a point to where it's not too bad as far as the mic goes. Anyway, first thing we're going to do is we're going to mount this guy right here, which obviously just slides over your pole like that. I've got that set up, mass like that. Let me go ahead and I'm going to set the camera over here. Hopefully you can see that pretty good. And then we're just going to evenly tighten these up. tightened up now but you need to get that little piece to come out here it'll it'll slide out there we go get this piece to slide out and you're going to want to take this piece it's got a screw here and it's just going to slide on to your piece there Tighten that up. You're going to slide the rod in there like that. And you notice it's got little black marks right here. You line those black marks up, and then you're just going to put the tightening cap, which has the ring and the gasket, like so. We'll just slide it on the end. Bring her down here. And I need to go get a crescent wrench to tighten that, but then you're just going to tighten those two up. Coax. Run it through your base here. And then obviously you hook it to the bottom of your antenna. And that's connected. Run it through the hole. Put your locking bolt in. And then they lock with that nut. I need to get a wrench to tighten those, but They say you want to make sure that they're touching each other, which they are now. And that's all there is to it. That and tightening up these radios here. Which I just kind of bottom it out. Make sure and tighten these though. Go ahead and tighten the jam that. Because they will over time. Walk their way out. And there you have it, an X300. All mounted and ready to go. And uh, I could actually move the elements over a little bit. See how that one's a little bit closer to the beam? I could actually can easily loosen these two screws here.
and just turn the antenna a little bit. There we go. So I get my elements as far as I weigh and then just go back tighten them. All done. Easy, easy as pie. And that is how you assemble and install the best base antenna that I know of, the Diamond X300. You can get them in an A and NA. Mine NA has the N connector. The A has the uh, B and C. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this, guys. If you did, please me again, thumb up. Um, subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost a thing to do that. And as always, have a great day. This is Electron Man.